I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new or returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you have not joined the family, go ahead and hit that red button, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, like the video, share us out, and leave us some comments down below. So, my name is Tommy. Today we are about to go into the Walmart with a $20 budget. And with the $20 budget, I'm also trying to do food storage so my goal also today is to not spend over a dollar for any item that i get for my food storage doesn't mean i'm not gonna get other things but for my food storage everything has to be one dollar or less so i'm gonna see if i can accomplish this goal and let's get into the store but we have to do what we have to do to get this food storage together. I'm going to note the time. It's 8.42 and I know that I could get some those storage buckets from the bakery for a dollar but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to this the actual food. Got pickles. Let's see if I can find over here and I could have went to the Dollar Tree and I'll probably do that too but we're gonna see if we can find it in Walmart. So I'm not finding anything, any pickles for a dollar as of yet. I see these pickles are 137. So I'm going to bypass on it even though it's 137. The goal is under a dollar. They do have some relish for 96 cents. We don't eat a lot of relish, so I'm only getting stuff that I, our family eat. That is the key thing when you're um, doing food storage. You want to make sure it's something that your family's going to eat. So if you can't get out to the store, you won't be staring at something and be like, I really don't want that or I really don't know how to cook that. So, so that's a no for the pickles. They don't have any peanut butter that's a dollar less. They do have some that's a dollar. I have bought some the other day. A dollar sixty-four right here. It's a dollar eighteen. These are going in my food storage, so I'm not even putting that in my kitchen. That's gonna go in the room that I have my food storage in. So they do have some ketchup that's for a dollar right here. And it's a big bottle, it's 38 ounces. But y'all, right above it, I think the cheaper stuff is like up higher. So they have this one, which is 32 ounces. And it's only 90 cent. 90 cent, y'all. So I'm gonna get that. So far, the shelves are looking decent. I don't see any, you know, issues with them. So this is not the ranch that my family eat. We always eat Hidden Valley. And you know Hidden Valley is not cheap. Um, but they do have a buttermilk ranch that is, I don't know, 92 cents. It's right there. It's 92 cents. So, let me get that. They have some salsa. We're looking for mild, medium salsa. This salsa is 98 cents. 
so so far we're doing good we have our condiments and stuff we're gonna move on they have everything stocked up in the middle canned goods that are 50 cent y'all you can't beat that you got corn so you have these meals right here and i could just rack up on these so this would be a great food storage item y'all if it's something that you know your family like we eat these these are like a dollar they got chicken and broccoli creamy chicken teriyaki rice cheddar broccoli mexican rice spanish rice red beans and rice and you, you can add what you want to add to it like you can add some meat to it so you're just not eating plain rice because you see people stock up and they buy these huge bags of rice right here which i don't have a problem with because i have some that i got a bag i have a 20 pound bag i got a bag up so with the rice you could do whatever they even have brown rice that's 70 cent i'm not getting it because i don't really eat brown rice even though it's 70 cents and then the white rice is a dollar 26 i could use another bag but it's a dollar 26 and today that is not my goal grab two of the chicken fried rice oh the heck corn over here for 38 cents as opposed to the 50 cent that i just had i'm gonna put these back yes it says 38 cent over here, but it says 50 cent over there. And it looks like the same corn. Do you say tomatoes? They're usually in this area. So if you don't see, they don't have it. I know. They, they've they been out lately of the canned tomatoes. Which tomatoes though? Tomato and okra? No, just tomatoes. Just, you know, potato sauce, whatever. Oh, not this owl. It should be on the next aisle. Okay. Yeah, it should be on that soup aisle over there. <laughs> You're welcome. Merry Christmas. They even have, these are good for your food storage. And these are only 92 cents. I'm just giving you some ideas of what uh, you can do. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to do today is just give you some ideas of stuff you can get that's that you can get out of Walmart for a dollar or less. So you got the beanie weenies. These little cans are a dollar. You got some chili starter for 68 cents. And then you have the kidney beans right here. These are a dollar. You know what? I should have got these when I was looking for, for my chili. I want these instead of the ones that I have. I'm these ones I have. But these are a dollar. You don't, you know, these are a dollar. And it's the real brand. It's not a knockoff brand. They even have canned gravy that you can get for your mashed potatoes. They have some beef gravy. And that's 86 cents. So, if you were thinking about doing a food storage or a pepper pantry, I think you could really find what you need in here to start off, you know, under a dollar and just set a budget before you go into the store. This is 92 cents, you know. Well, this week I'm only gonna spend this amount, you know. Make a list of what you need, but also be willing to be flexible with your list when you get into the store and you see stuff. This is 96 cent. And that's fruit mix, like fruit cocktail. They even have applesauce, which I'm about to get this bottle. And it is unsweetened applesauce for, so you can see the price, 92 cent. Sometimes you can find things that aren't like just the great value or whatever and say you can't, say you don't want to spend $2.98 for um, this five pack, no, the six pack of Vienna sausages. Then you can just grab you some of these individuals 
you can get these are 56 cents so this the spam which i don't eat spam but the luncheon meat is like 184 cans of chili for 86 no 80 cents with beans it's gone the shelf is empty it was the great value of the hamburger helper this it was like this right here these are the lasagnas they cost a dollar so you this is a meal you just need to add meat or you can just not you could be vegetarian and not do that but it's a dollar and they have these pasta sides over here that are uh, a dollar they have different flavors they have chicken alfredo so you have stuff to choose from that you don't you know you can start your food pantry or prepper pantry with that noodles 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 these are only 227 and they have the individual ones like these right here this is 24 cents these are 24 cents so you can start with less than nothing you can always find pasta in here for under a dollar these bow ties are 82 cents spaghetti is um, 82 cents you have your spaghetti sauces over here um, you don't always have to go for the big bottles like these pregos and stuff like that you can always get the this is a good size what's the size 24 ounces for 88 cents and it's tomato basil garlic pasta sauce over here you got alfredo um they usually have some for under a dollar but i don't see any today um it's a little weak on this side over here with the alfredo sauces i guess people are really enjoying the alfredo sauce okay the jiffy corn mix for 47 cents you can make your cornbread you can make you a dressing <laughs> No, I'm not gonna find anything over here. Oh, I take that back, y'all. So they have the oatmeal right here. This is 86 cents. This right here, I know because I bought this before. It doesn't have a price on it, but I know it's a dollar. These pop tarts right here are a dollar, and you can always get your seasonings. It's a great value for 98 cents. Any seasoning like this is 98 cents in here. The salt, this salt is 36 cents. It's garlic, this is the cheapest I've seen at 184. And these are little ones. I think if you went to the Dollar Tree, you probably could find a bigger bottle. This bag of sugar is $1.58 right here of course that's not on my dollar range for today otherwise i will be low enough on that sugar right now um but all these have it pretty cheap too i might have to do this at aldi's i'm pretty sure i could get a lot of stuff flour, flour. they got any dollar flour over here they have flour for like a dollar 56 but i know at aldi's they have um probably this size bag of flour for a dollar you gotta have sweets in your food pantry you cannot just oh i'm just gonna get the food 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 if you don't get sweets and you get stuck in say a snowstorm you can't get out or whatever some situation like that you're gonna want some sweets they have these for these brownies for a dollar uh six um, I'm pretty sure they have something cheaper. They have these chocolate chip muffin mix. Just add milk for 86 cents. But I would suggest when you get stuff like that, like the pancake mix or the muffin mix, try to find something you could just add water to. 
in case you don't have milk. You always have water, right? Um, now I'm not going to tell you you can get coffee for a dollar. <laughs> I would not tell you that. Um, but I'm sure somewhere you can find it. I think the cheapest one I'm seeing in here is three dollars and something. I hope this video is not too long. Um, I just felt like I want to show you what you can get to start your prepper pantry. Because I know um, a lot of people are like, well, you're showing your, your prepper pantry just because I want to motivate people to do this. Because if you've not motivated since March when everything shut down, you need to be. So this apple juice right here is 98 cents. This is a 64 fluid ounce, 100% apple juice. I could make apple jelly with this this apple juice right here and I'm getting it we have five more things we can get y'all so I got to be really choosy about what I get but my kids love apple juice I'm not gonna make any apple uh, jelly I've been saying I'm gonna make it but y'all I still have grape jelly I still have strawberry jelly because we don't eat a lot of jelly and I can't those things so I haven't had to buy any so you have, I'm running my mouth now, so let me just stay focused on what I'm doing. There you go. There you go. I said, I'm not going to tell you, but I found it. Y'all, I found it. Coffee for 96 cents. You see it yourself. Folgers Classic Roast. And it's the little single packets that you pour into. You, this, look at how simple this is, y'all. These are 96 cents. You could take these to go, you know? And I thought I couldn't find coffee for a dollar. I did it. I did it. And they even have creamer. I don't see, let's see, this creamer right here is a dollar. And you can even get creamer. What kind is this? Just a regular creamer. Now, I'm not gonna tell you it tastes as good as the coffee mate, but hey, we found coffee for a dollar. And I see hot chocolate up here. These 94 cents. My daughter's been asking for some hot chocolate. So I think, let me make sure I got the right one. Yep, and it's Nestle. Or is it Nestle? Yeah, Nestle. I said Nestle, sorry. And how many, you get six pouches for 94 cents. I'm getting it. Packets for my water. And I see they have some for a dollar. You don't have to just drink plain water. You can get these. Put in your water and there is 10 of them in here. So you can't forget your paper products because you're gonna need to be able to clean, wipe your hands, anything. So even though these aren't good for the environment, they are 98 cents. And you get 50 of these in case you don't have water, you know, to wash dishes with. You can get you some of those. Let me show you this tissue aisle first. So, as you can see, the other aisles were looking good. And then we get to this tissue aisle. Not so good. Empty. Oh, I mean, this whole thing is empty. And that's the cleaning owl on the other side. So we're going to start that one here. They have, you can't afford all those other tissue. You can start off, y'all, I'm not going to say this is the best tissue, but I have had to use it when I've been broke and couldn't afford to get the tissue that I wanted, but I knew we needed tissue. So this was 68 cents. So over here for the trash bags, because you want to make sure you have a way to put away your your garbage, um, dispose of stuff the right way. These trash bags, even though it's only five in here, they're 98 cents. And the plates are these right here that I get sometimes. And these are $1.43. 
you can get your paper towels for 46 cents. I just got a, a bunch of those. I hope this is helpful for beginners because that's what this is catered to. But even if you're not a beginner, y'all, these it's kind of empty over here. There's nothing over here. They do have some of these cleaners right here. The Clorox cleaners for $3.28. Um, that's reasonable. But up above it, they have the generic versions for $1.97. So, and it not, kills 99% bacteria. Stick to the outside, Al. So, even though I'm trying to do my food storage right now. They have things over here that you can get. Like this butter is 84 cent and they have the different ones. Although I don't eat this particular bread. Only time I get this bread is when I am low on funds, y'all. And this bread is 88 cent and it's not the best quality because, you know, it's just not. But it's 88 cent and you can feed your family. I normally eat the nature's own the shelves. People are getting this stuff. I'm about to say taken, but they're they're getting this stuff. These are eighty eight cent. They're a dollar twenty one for twelve. So you can get bologna for a dollar fifty six. Um, I have to make sure if I get bologna, it's the beef bologna. Like that's a dollar thirty-eight because my kids are like, "Are you bringing us that chicken bologna?" <laughs> I'm like, Do you know how much chicken bologna I ate as a child. I didn't like it though, but I ate it because it was a meal. So try to get the meals you know your kids are gonna eat, your family's gonna eat. You can get these pieces for $1.36, but they also have these pieces down here for 78 cents. So you just have to figure it out and make it work for you. It may not be the name brand, but like these corn dogs right here, these are 218. Although you may want to get to Uncrustables, guess what? You can go over here and get that um, cheap jelly cheap peanut butter, cheap bread, and make you some and cut the ends off. <laughs> so I got 20 items, y'all. And they were all under a dollar. So it can be done. It just takes a little time. So best time to go to the Walmart or any of these stores, honestly, is in the morning time. Because it's less people and they're stocking the shelves so you're likely to find things that will be gone if you come back later like cleaning supplies tissue stuff like that would be gone so i'm going to continue my shopping i'm about to go on the other side of the store though because i'm done with the food section but this is what i got um i hope Y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that it I hope that it um, provides the information that you might have been thinking about getting into doing the prep pantry or food starting food storage. Please do if that's what you're thinking. Stop thinking it and just do it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to leave me uh, any ideas of other videos that you might want to see leave it in the comments thank y'all again i'm sorry for the long video but i was trying to be more informative than just going in the store and doing my grocery hauls it's always a reason for doing things and i just needed to explain it to you for one quick well some minutes <laughs> so thank y'all again if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so join the family and I would appreciate it so much. Until next time, love yourself so you can go out and love others. And remember that God loves you. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. Smooches. Well, y'all, I did find cereal for a dollar.
They got this cereal right here for a dollar. These are 97 cents. So if you wanted to, say, get you a snack um, storage area where you just put in your snacks, you got these Honeymates for 88 cents. These right here are 98 cents. These are $1.43. Um, that's one way to start your snack storage. You have the single gator is in like a dollar. Well, we need to talk about our dogs and our puppies. The little treats here are 96 cents. These are like 50 cents. Yes. So remember your pets. This makes me think about our dog. She died this year. Um, she got cancer. Uh, she was a bull master. And that's 88 cents. This food is $2.58. It's a three and a half pound bag of dog food for $2.58. And then here's some for $2. Right here. It's a four pound bag. So it might not be what you're normally used to getting your, your dog. But if you can't afford to stock up on the stuff that you do get them, get them the next best thing at a reasonable price. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along.